ladies and gentlemen, this is a special submission match. Hailing from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Nothing fancy about this man. You talk about it in your face. That's who Stone Cold Steve Austin is. Well, you're right about that. Steve Austin is six foot two, 252 pounds. And he said there's not a human being walking the face of the earth that can make him say, I quit. You know what? I think I believe it. Hello and welcome to LST Plays. We're back playing more WWE 2K16 and we're uh, back in the boots of Stone Cold Steve Austin at the, uh, the next event. So we've got WrestleMania 13 here and uh, it's a bit of an iconic match. This is a, uh, an I Quit match, I believe. And um, basically uh, Austin's uh, whole thing is here that he's not a submission wrestler, whereas Brett, Brett is. And uh, this is, I think Austin said this was his favourite match of all time. I think he said this is his best wrestling match of all time because at the end of this match, basically, and they, uh, they do go through it in, in the game as well, which is obviously great, um, is that Brett at the start of the match sort of walked in and he's like the good guy, or the typical good guy, and then um, Austin's like the bad guy. And by the end of the match, the roles were completely reversed, that um, Brett was the, the bad guy and Austin was the good guy. And it was all just done through the in-ring storytelling. There was no sort of promos in the middle of this match or at the end of this match. It just sort of happened. Um, and that's that's one of the reasons why it's, it's one of the best, considered one of the best matches, I suppose, of all time. A lot of people have said that it's, uh, you know, wrestlers anyway have said that this is one of their favourite matches. Um, Brett Ann and Austin, obviously, um, have come out and said that. So it's uh, it's great to see the match obviously in it. Obviously they couldn't have done a, a showcase without um, this match. It's very important, um, and uh, it's great to see Bret wrestling again. However, I said I think I mentioned in the last video, Bret Hart is like an end boss, and he bloody well is. Because seriously, the amount of times I had to actually fight this guy. Um, you may have noticed a transition at the start of this match. It's because I failed, and I failed within the first two fucking minutes of the actual game. Like, um, it was unbelievable. So yeah, it's it's pretty tough. I'm playing this on normal, but I have to say I was like absolutely struggling with this. I don't know what it is. I must have spent about half an hour trying to do this one match, but I finally got a good recording anyway. And um, as you'll see with the, uh, the one afterwards, I don't think I had too much problems with the. Uh, that's it. Flipping off Ken Shamrock. <laughs> I don't know if I'd do that in real life. I think if, uh, although Ken Shamrock is, uh, you know, he's, he's obviously not what he once was, but uh, Ken Shamrock at one stage was a scary, scary, roided up man. And as you can see there, Jesus, the size of that guy. Like, look at him. Uh, I think they've done a pretty good job with him. Um, he does he does resemble Ken Shamrock quite, quite closely in that he's got the sort of, well, He's, he's an ugly man, let's put it like that. Um, and they've captured some of that ugliness there. And he's been going to the old spray tan in, uh, place as well, but looks like so he's pretty dark there. Um, and, and of course, he's wearing the, uh, the, skin, the skin tight ref outfit. This I quit match, Ken Shamrock, the referee. We are in Chicago. This is WrestleMania 13. Neither Austin or the Hitman have ever submitted in their professional careers. It's all on the line here. A lot of pride. Who's the alpha male? Nice leg sweep by the by the hitman. And this crowd is going wild, JR. They're 
They're waiting to hear one of these superstars say they quit. You gotta think that the hitman is second sharpshooter. Focusing on the leg of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh-oh, this is not gonna be good for the rattlesnake. Oh, man. Bret Hart. Oh, man, look at this. Ow! The figure four using that ring post as leverage. Shamrock trying to free Stone Cold. And Austin, the damage has been done. Austin in a bad, bad way. But he still will not say he quits. Yep, trying to keep quiet for all that glorious um, commentary by JR and the, and the King on that one. I mean, that's an amazing spot where he's got um, Austin and the figure four on the uh, on the ring post. Amazing. I think it's only been really done a few times since then in the WWE, possibly. I might be wrong on that one, so don't quote me on that. But, um, yeah, it just looks absolutely amazing. And it was done to perfection as well. If you check out the actual video, it might have been a show at the end. Um, it's just it looks incredible and obviously Austin with his knee brace and stuff on you can he, 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 he doesn't even really have to sell it because he's got his knee brace on but and I'm telling you Stone Cold Steve Austin oh look out oh inverted atomic drop and Austin that's a low blow technically again a no disqualification match referee Ken Shamrock helpless to do anything about it now what's the hitman doing uh oh look out steel chair Bret Hart bringing a steel chair in the ring it's as legal as a wrist lock. Things are about to get ugly. Oh! Back to the leg, Austin in trouble. Oh, oh no, oh no. Hart's got evil intentions. This is gonna be damn bad, JR. This is gonna be real bad. Oh, look at this. This is gonna be, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bret Hart took too long, Stone Cold got the chair. Oh man, the steel chair right in the spine. From downtown Victoria, Texas. Oh, look at Austin. He is begging Bret Hart to get back to his feet. And that, uh oh, look out, JR. Austin's got that chair. Austin keeping his word. <laughs> he said he, oh, my God. He said he was going to beat the hell out of Hart. And he stood it with that steel chair. Nothing the referee can do about it. Those facial expressions on Bret Hart, they were absolutely amazing. So, so good. They've just done such a great job, as I say, on the, the facial expressions of the guys. It's just incredible. So, yeah, amazing. It's I really enjoyed this match, although it was really, it was really, really frustrating to begin with. Um, I'm not too maybe the Survivor Series one was worse. I'm not too sure, but just he just kept beating the absolute bag out of me in this one. But uh, yeah, we're uh, we're approaching some new challengers anyway. But uh, certainly the Bret Hart um, feud that he had was just phenomenal. So so really, really, really good. So don't think in this one I actually get bloodied up. You'll see at the end, obviously, there was a uh, there's a famous scene where Stone Cold um, is, is in the sharpshooter and he's pissing blood. And uh, I didn't quite get there, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a, a cutscene at the end, you can see it. I like that, I like the way that if you land on a chair as well, if you're in a, if you're, if the chair's on the ground and your opponent doesn't move or you do an opponent on your, or move on your opponent, you, uh, you actually hear the chair sound, like you're actually hitting the chair, which is a really nice addition. So I don't know if it does actually any more damage. It would be pretty cool if you could put a chair on the ground and like DDT them on it, you know. I'm sure, I'm sure it probably does some kind of uh, damage to them. But um, I mentioned in my last video some podcasts to check out. Well, one anyway. And that was um, the guys at New Generation Project Podcast. And uh, they did a fantastic review of uh, Survival Survivor Series. Um, they haven't got around to this one yet because this is uh, a year. They're they're sort of in '96 still. But um, review away, which is from the the Fight Network, is um, John Pollock and Waiting do an amazing. Um, every Wednesday they do a podcast which is about a random pay per view or something. Well, they decide the week before, but they've done a WrestleMania 13 one, and I'm going to put it in the, the link to that in the description below so you can go and check that out. And they're much much more knowledgeable. I mean, it's their jobs to sort of cover a lot of the the wrestling events and stuff. Um, as well as MMA and UFC and all that sort of stuff. So go and check out the Fight Network and specifically check out that video from their archive. Um, I'll post a direct link to that and you can have a listen to it and see exactly what they think. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to leave it there. So like and subscribe and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Trying to lock in the sharpshooter, King. You know how that feels. Yes, it's I a do. deadly painful. Oh my gosh, and Bret Hart has it cinched in. Stone Cold Steve Austin, I don't think he's got any choice, JR. He's going to have to say, I quit. Austin a long way from the ropes. He can't reach the ropes. Referee Ken Shamrock right down in Austin's face to hear him say, I quit. Austin in a bad, bad way, obviously. Wait a minute. Brett got off balance. Brett lost his balance there, lost his, his leverage. 
but he didn't re relinquish the hold. Oh, he still got it locked in and now applying even more pressure. An amazing display of guts. Listen to Shamrock, he's saying, Austin, do you quit? Do you quit? Shamrock's done an amazing job of fishing this match. Austin has passed out. That's it. Austin is unconscious. As a result of Stone Cold Steve Austin losing consciousness, the winner of this bout, Brett Hitman Hart. The match is over. The referee has stopped it. Austin cannot continue. And there's no reason for Bret Hart to continue this onslaught. He's won the match but he's frustrated that he couldn't make Austin say, I quit. He's gonna try to put that sharpshooter on again. Shamrock, look at Shamrock! Shamrock with a takedown, waistlock takedown, and Shamrock will fight you, Brett. He will fight you right now. Bret Hart showing no sportsmanship whatsoever after winning this controversial match here at WrestleMania 13. Well, Bret Hart wins, but Stone Cold Steve Austin just too stubborn to say, I quit. And this crowd chanting, Austin, Austin, man, what a, we come in here, Hart was a fan favorite, Austin was the enemy, they leave the different hey, roles. Stunner! Austin on one leg. You never trust a rattlesnake. Never. They don't make good corporate pets, let me tell you. Austin on one leg, refused to say I quit. 